There we go. Hey, everybody. Well, let's try this again. I made a video a few minutes ago, just deleted it. I just uh, wasn't into making the video, but I thought I'd try again since I had a couple more thoughts. And, you know, I, I have a lot of different thoughts throughout the day, of course. I can't upload everything, I think, and I'm glad I don't. But uh, sometimes, you know, it, it's like overwhelming uh, that I... I I want to discuss something that's more along the lines of, uh, uh, not negative, so to speak, but uh, maybe something, some of the things that are wrong with the world. And uh, and then I find myself kind of backtracking, saying, hey man, you know, it's, it's yeah, the shit happens, but you have to stick to your guns, you have to stick to your positive mindset, and to try to let, let those things go, which I do. But there are certain, uh, um, let's just say, you know, consistencies throughout life that we all face the same, which is the fact that life is more or less just a um, heartache with, uh, in, interspersed with some really good times. And we, it's up to us to make the most of it. That n we get nothing out of life unless we put the most into it. It's all about how we view it. And years ago, I would make several, I made dozens of videos about alchemy and mental alchemy or transmutation of thought and and it was one of the most useful things I've ever learned and if not the most actually probably it was the most useful thing that I've learned and applied to my life but you know now that it's been you know five six years of you utilizing this um, I can see that it works but I don't mention it as often it's like once you're used to a certain mindset you don't really consider it uh, like, oh yeah, I think that way, and other people might not. Well, it's 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 very simply about finding the positive in any situation. You know, I could go into it in depth, but it's more complicated than that, of course, because it's a, it's a training of the mind to see things differently. So where something happens right away, you see the good in it. Even if you expect something to happen, you're not worrying about it. You're thinking, okay, well, what can I do afterwards? You know, uh, for example, I've right now with my business, you know, I I. I'm pretty much going to have to shut down my business for a little bit and maybe I'll regroup and start over. And so I'm going to have to figure out how to make income down the road. I'm going to have to figure out how to make a living. But instead of sitting and stressing about it, I've been thinking, well, what can I do to start over? You know, and also I have uh, in two weeks, two weeks from today, I'm leaving for Soak, which is the regional Burning Man here. And uh, it's four days long. And I go, I'm going with a like, really, really good friend of mine that I've been trying to get to go for years. And uh, <clears throat> we're, uh, it, it'll be like, it, it's perfect timing to take a break with all that's been going on in, in my mind, right, you know. But every single year when, when concert season comes and event season comes, I'm always stressed out about how I'm going to leave my business. I have to let all my customers know and I have to plan ahead of time and make sure that all the orders are filled and try to hurry when I get back to answer hundred emails, a thousand emails, <laughs> seems like forever sometimes, but, you know, so at least there's something, something there, at least, hey, I have more time to work, you know, to, to enjoy uh, doing the things I'm going to do, even though I'm not making money, um, and that's just one aspect, that's just, that's just income, there's, there's, you know, the, the aspect of, I, some things you just can't find the positive in, like my loss, my recent loss of my dog, that's different, I mean, I, I'm not, I've tried to think the positive, like, well, it, you know, it's just not worth it. Like, losing someone is totally different than losing work. But um, I guess that's what it is, is maybe that's the emotional intelligence that also I've found is super important. Being able to analyze things and, and see what's worth worrying about and what's not. What's in your circle of concern and your circle of influence. These are things you can do things about and things that you can't. And the things that you can do something about, that's great. Make a change in our lives, you know. It's... It's just, life is a series of small changes and small tweaks to the mind. It's just like upgrading an engine or a computer. You have to keep it running, keep it fed, keep it powered, but upgrading parts and upgrading with what your needs are is important. So if you're, you know, have a lot of nightmares or, or if you have a lot of panic attacks or anxiety, depression, uh, these are things that we can work on, you know, in, in, in our minds and start saying, I don't want to feel this way, how can I change it, you know, and everyone's different, so there's no one size fits all, you know, and 
uh, that's that's the, there's no magic pill that's going to help that. You know, unfortunately, uh, pharma has different thoughts about that one. But uh, no, there's there's no magic pill that's going to fix all of our all of our pains, um, because we always pay the price in the end. And and that's another another lesson, another life lesson that I found really important is that not not just that life is has a lot of suffering in it and that we have to think positive but that there's balance in everything no matter what it it always balances out and that's what karma would be more or less it, you know people i don't believe in karma you know you 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 know harm someone you get harmed directly it's just never you just don't see it balanced the way you think it would be because it's more of a generalized thing it's 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 hard to explain it's like an exchange of energy always takes place but um we get karma within our own subconscious for the stupid shit that we do to ourselves and to others and we know when we're doing right and wrong and so uh, most of us anyway um so being human i guess it's just being the best person we can be and and embracing what we have and not overwhelmingly worrying about the things that we don't have or that we'd like to have as far as not just physical or, you know, obtainable things, but, you know, looks or career or money or fame. It blows me away how many people want to be famous. It's just, why? You know, why? I mean, you think having more money is going to make you happy or having more people like you and know you or pretend to like you, it's going to make you happy. It was like somebody made a video about about big time YouTubers the other day, and it was like it said your your favorite YouTuber doesn't like you or doesn't care about you, or something like that. And he was saying how you know so many of you see you've got these guys like you know Logan Paul and his subscribers. Oh, we love you, man. We love you. And he doesn't give a fuck. This this is just some spoiled spoiled ass rich kid that that fucking you know makes videos about complete bullshit and just loves the attention. There's a difference between people who have a lot of fame and people who, you know, and them actually caring about their fans. There are a lot of people who are famous that do care about their fans. It's usually older people because they learn to respect and understand that, wow, these people actually admire me, you know, and it's interesting when, to watch how, you know, people are attacked, like if they make a certain tweet or a, or a post or something and, and, and these people have their whole careers ruined over it, these like, you know actors or politicians or whatever so you know that's the uh that's the age of accountability that we live in right now which is what uh my previous video was about but uh you know it's it's uh, it's an interesting time interesting time so i'm just gonna leave this one at this and uh i'll talk to y'all later have a good one